Ta, on a scale of one to ten, how is the trip going so far? <laughs> Got a tater top in my hand. It's going good. Over Veterans Day weekend, we decided to attempt Devil's Path in Catskill, New York. The hike is 23.6 miles with 19,000 feet of elevation change. We decided to try and do this in a day. This is that story. Tall, tell me how you really feel about this trip. Um, I don't, I don't think I can say this on, a, on camera, but uh, as I said, I, I'm feel, I was feeling excited doing something else this weekend. <laughs> Young Joseph Stalin himself. Tis I. Tall. What did we do? We filled the trip. That's all. Why? All dead stuff. <laughs> oh god, that is. Joel, real Three, talk. Two. How you feel about the weather right now? It's my favorite degree. <laughs> In New England, we don't feel the cold. The cold feels us. Sarah? You know, I feel pretty bad about it. Tall? Where are we right now? Motivation levels. Oh, dude, I'm doing great. I'm warm. I got my layers on. You're not getting anything out of him. I'm good. <laughs> These are the pack of poop out bags. <laughs> Don't get mad, get clear. Devil's Path has so far, we are vastly underprepared, and it's kicked our ass. Oh, there we go. Okay. So here's what happened. As you can see, um, it's a little cold. We were not expecting this cold, and I think mentally we were underprepared for how challenging the trip is going to be. And so, currently, I am heading, I'm heading 2.5 miles back to the car. Oh, that's where I went. So the two biggest things that we were uh, worried about for this trip, worried about for this trip, was the weather and like just the distance itself. So we knew that the distance was possible if it wasn't icy, like the trail was still in decent condition. And so we called the ranger, I don't know how many times. Tall incessantly called this ranger. She kept saying, no, it'll be fine, the trail will be dry, there won't be ice. We kept asking her, right? We just kept making sure. And then we got here last night we were like just beginning to set up camp and she like oh there's people that's incredible those are such nice people I love meeting people while hiking they're always just so nice anyway I don't remember where it was oh so the ranger shows up and tickets us all for illegal camping so the trip started out strong last night when we got here so after that she was like oh you brought your crampons right and uh, we were all kind of like no you told us that the trail wasn't going to be icy, or like snowy, or wet. And uh, she responded with, oh, well you should have. So this is why Devil's Path is so difficult. It's all just ice right now. This is just a sheet of ice. There is no way that can be safe to hike on. Really? Yeah, just straight down that little piece. Alright. The current plan though is to probably come back and uh, do it like early or late April. Late April is a good time to go and do this hike. Not when it is uh, very snowy. Okay, so we're back in the car. I don't know what I'm supposed to tell you about at this point. I got a bagel. Sorry, I'm really hungry. Um, Pat, I don't know. I'm glad we did it. But at the same time, we were given false information by this park ranger, and that's really a pretty big dumpster fire because we were very ill-informed about what the conditions were going to be this weekend. We probably wouldn't have had this trip had we known the trail was going to be iced over. I just gotta wait here now. Maybe we'll check in on them if there's more footage of them. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if we can check in on them. No! I fell from, I fell like, that's like eight feet. From that, yeah, your foot was on the root. I fell like eight feet. All right, yeah. 
that was not what I should what I should have done. I fell from the root to the ground. I hoped it, it wasn't I know, too bad. oh I know. I didn't free fall it. I know. Honestly I found that. I probably would have like knocked out the window and I probably would have been like dead. Not dead but done. Like dead done. It's not working out. There's not enough hydration. Didn't even close the lid. <laughs> you knew it. <laughs> I'm sure the ice kept it all solid in there. There it is. Woo! Got some water. In there. Oh, you, oh, yours is slush, right? Yeah, mostly. I have dried cranberries somewhere in this, in this, this, but I don't know where. They're buried somewhere in the depth, and I'm sad. This is probably excessively close to my face. Excuse me. Also, I found my dried cranberries. By no means did the trip go according to plan. We were not able to complete our objective, we were thrown under the bus about trail conditions, and we vastly underestimated just how hard the trail would be. Despite this, we pushed our limits and crushed the outdoors. Scale one to ten, how do you feel? Zero. I need to sit down. Oh my god. Yo, what did you do on there? You Chris, do you have water oh. that's like liquid? Yes, I do. Can you please have some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm gonna lay down. Where you at, Tall? Physically exhausted. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't think we deserve it. Levi, honest opinion of the hike. It's just really hard and pretty satisfied. <laughs> type four, definitely type four. Type three fun right there. Honest opinion of the hike. Perfect. Never again. I'm gonna do it all in one day. <laughs>